Um, Minister, I'd like to start off, um, if, I'm not sure you were on the march on, on Saturday, but uh, I think a few of us were, and it was probably one of the best marches I've been on for a pretty long time. I think the only comparison I would have to that march on Saturday was the water charges marches. Uh, it was a great atmosphere, and I don't think there's any section of workers that have the respect uh, of uh, the public when it comes to nurses. And the level of solidarity and support was uh, second to none. Uh, I think there's an un unbreakable bond between uh, the nursing profession and the public, and that was kind of borne out by the public support over the three days that was uh, uh, the, the strike. I, I just want to speak from first-hand experience. I was a care assistant for 17 years before I got elected here, so I have I worked with a lot of nurses um, in a lot of hospitals to different um, different environments, and um, uh, it would be kind of uh, nurses have. Uh, extremely important role. Uh, they are extremely professional um, and extremely uh, passionate about their job. And that's what kind of comes down to this. They don't do it for the money, they do it to the commitment of their fellow human beings and to try to help them as much as possible. And Minister, I think what nurses don't want is platitudes. They want attitudes to change in this government about pay and retention of their profession. And nurses went out very, very, very reluctantly. Uh, to their workplace, extremely reluctantly. They did not want to go into strike. They want to be on their wards caring for people. But they are forced because this is a safety issue, this is a pay issue, this is, a sa this is an issue about our whole public health system. And it goes to the heart and uh, soul of their profession and what, uh, what we're fighting for in public. And, you know, what does, that, what does this say about society where nurses have to go on strike and yet you know, your government um, kind of pays bondholders 270 million uh, in November. That pays off, gives tax exemptions to banks. Uh, that kind of puts kind of uh, on the pedestal bankers of this system. But yet nurses do not get uh, a, a fair hearing. And the substantial issue, Minister, hasn't gone away. And the, the substantial issue is recruitment, retention, pay, and conditions for nurses. And if, horse, if hospitals are not a safe place for nursing staff, auxiliary staff or care assistants, they are, then they become dangerous. They become dangerous for patients and patients will die. So we will wait and see um, what, uh, from the Labour's, Labour Court recommendation. Um, we will take our, kind of, uh, I suppose, green light from nurses themselves. Um, and I think indications that this doesn't go far enough. This doesn't address the substantial issue of pay and retention and pay parity. They don't, I mean, nurses don't ultimately want the pay rise. They want to be respected and uh, paid like with al other allied professionals. And I think, you know, nurses have crossed the Rubicon. And that Rubicon, there's no going back. Because nurses for too long have you know, have got this platitude from successful governments and have st stood down. And as um, Deputy Coppinger says, it, yeah, it, it largely comes down because they're a female dominated profession. So I think the, they've crossed the Rubicon Minister and I think it's time uh, that the, the health profession as a whole and the public health system it has to stand side by side with nursing, the nursing profession because when they win, we all win. Thank you.